Hi there and welcome to Yum Paleo. Today what we're going to be making is some blueberry and raspberry paleo muffins. So I'll quickly just run through all the ingredients we've got here. Now for the blueberries and raspberry I've got half a cup of each and they'll be going in at the end because you don't want to mix them through at the start otherwise they could just mix into the all the mixture and make it either blue or red and you, if you want that you can add them in at the start but I'm just going to put them in right at the end. And then also for the dry mix, I have got half a, now this is two thirds of a cup of almond flour. There's going to be a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda, and just a little tiny bit of salt in there. And then for the wet mix, I've got eight eggs, got half a, half a cup of coconut oil, half a cup of coconut milk, and half a cup of maple syrup. So also once I've put the that mixture in with the trays, I've made a topping to go on it. Now this topping is, it just consists of, we've got two tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and half a cup of ground almonds. So I just got the almonds and chopped them up very roughly, and then just added it in the mix. And there is also two tablespoons of almond meal in there. So to begin with, what I'm going to do is start to mix up the all the dry ingredients. So just get that the almond flour in there. Get a bit of that cinnamon. So just one and a quarter, just a tiny bit more. That will do. And now I need some baking soda. So just clean that spoon. So one teaspoon of baking soda. And just a pinch of salt. So what I'm going to do now is just mix these through. Okay, so now that I've mixed that through nicely, what I'm going to do is start to introduce all the wet ingredients. So I'm going to crack in these eight eggs and then add in the milk and the maple syrup. And then we'll, I'm going to use this hand mixer here and then slowly introduce the coconut oil as we go with that. So just get all the eggs in first. Now what I did do is I am preheating the oven at the moment and it is on 350 degrees Fahrenheit which is about 175 degrees Celsius. So you might want to just get that heating up round about now. Great, so that's the eggs in there. And add in that half a cup of maple syrup. Now as well, this is going to be in the oven for 30 minutes and when you take it out, you leave it there for about 5 or 10 minutes just to cool down. And also I forgot to say we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract in with the wet stuff, so just add that in now. Great. So now it's time to whiz it up. So I'm actually going to do it over here and just start mixing away. And then just slowly introduce the coconut oil.
Now just keep mixing until you've got the desired consistency. And make sure all the ingredients are well mixed together. Okay, so I'm very happy with that now. And I've still just got a few dry ingredients on the side, so I'm just going to take them around like that. Just mix that through, it should be fine. Great, that's looking really good. So now what we're going to do is add in the blueberries and the raspberries. So I'm going to add in the blueberries first actually because I think the raspberries may bleed into the mixture slightly, but that's okay. It's not going to change the taste at all. So just fold them in nice and gently. And now I'm going to add in the raspberries. Oh, and they're already, because these were just defrosting. Some slight running out, color running out of those, but that's fine. And just mix that through. Okay, so I'm really happy with that. And we are ready to put them into the muffin trays. So if I just pull them down here. And then just get a big spoon and I'm going to put them about halfway because they will rise. And don't worry about any of the mixture spilling over either. Which is part of the fun. Right, so continue with filling these and then we will get ready to put the topping on as well. Which you just sprinkle over the top of the, muff the muffins each and then we'll put them in the oven. Okay, so what I just did as well is I just sprinkled some of that, that topping over the top of the muffins and they are actually ready to go in. So I'm just going to pop these in for about 30 minutes and we'll come back and they'll be ready to serve, so I'll see you soon. Hi there and welcome back. Now I've taken the muffins out of the oven and they were in there for about 30 minutes and then I just let them rest for about just in between like five to eight minutes. You can just kind of gauge it on how hot they are. And here they are and they smell great. So I really hope you enjoy them and I'll see you here for another great recipe. See you soon.